Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up an automated crypto hopper trading bot that will actually use trading view alerts to trigger automated buy orders. Now, if you're not familiar with crypto hopper, they're probably one of the oldest automated crypto trading bot platforms i have actually been using them since 2018 and over the past four years i have deployed several automated crypto trading bots over here on crypto hopper i have a complete playlist in youtube you can check out if you want to see some of those configurations now you can actually get started for free crypto hopper does offer a free trial i will drop a link in the description down below and once you have your account set up you can actually start out paper trading or demo trading before actually putting your funds at risk now in today's video the automated crypto hopper bot i will be deploying will be to live fire i'm actually looking to put to the test a trading view indicator i created and see if it is actually a valid strategy under live fire and that indicator is the recon trader trend lines breached. You can kind of see from the chart on the screen. I am basically looking for the breach of a trend line, whether it be bullish or bearish. Now, as far as crypto hopper goes, all the trades are going to be on the bullish side as they do not actually offer futures trading at the moment. So you can't actually go short in the true sense of going short. So again, my bot will be looking for these bullish breaches like you see here and the push up. You get another bullish breach here, kind of moves sideways and then pushes up. And then another bullish breach here and a push up. So that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get this bot configured and deployed. And so I will start over here on my crypto hopper dashboard. I want to add a new hopper. So I just give that a click. And now I just need to click on the auto trading bot which will pull up your basic configuration options. Now, the first option is your basic settings, which is to name your strategy. In this case, I named it Recon Trendline Strategy. Next, you need to connect an exchange to Crypto Hopper. You don't actually send money to Crypto Hopper. You connect your exchange via API keys and your secret key. In this case, I will be using Qcoin as my exchange. I have already configured the API key and secret keys and pasted that all in there. So now I'm ready to move on to notifications. As far as notifications, I only have it set up to email me when a trade is actually executed. So moving on to the buying options, I can click on buy settings. The first option is order type. In this case, I am going to select a market order. I'm looking for that order to be filled as soon as the alert from TradingView gets sent over. The maximum open buy time, I have five minutes. The maximum open positions, I have set as one. I only want one position at a time. The max percent open positions per coin, I basically have set at 100, and thus the result is max one open position per coin. I do not have enable cooldown set. I have it set to only open one buy order per coin at a time. I am not going to enable only buy when there are positive pairs, and I do not enable auto merge positions. Again, I should only have one position. Next, I can jump over here to coins and amounts. Now, the first option is quote currency, and in this case, I will be using USDT as my quote currency. And then the coins allowed to trade. I've only back tested this actual strategy with Ethereum, so I will only select Ethereum. Now, I could add other coins by simply clicking on any one of these coins, and it would add the coin over here to selected coins. If I want to get rid of a coin under selected coins, again, just give it a click and it'll kick it back over here to available coins. In this case, Ethereum is the only coin I'm going to deploy this strategy on. And so with that being said, the percentage buy amount is going to be 100%, and the minimum USDT amount per order I have set at 100 USDT, and the maximum USDT amount allocated I have set at 100. And I do have the force minimum buy amount checked off. I really want this to buy a minimum of 100 USDT of ETH. 
Next is configuration of your strategy. So if you give that a click and so the strategy settings for this particular strategy is going to be signals only. I'm looking for the alerts to be sent from trading view number of targets to buy. I only wanted to buy one target based on that one alert and that target is obviously ETH. Next is the trailing stop buy. I do not currently have that enabled. I will perhaps in the future enable this to see if this improves any of my results. But at the moment, I don't have that enabled. So now we can move on to the sell settings. So if I click on sell settings, I have take profit set at 1.4% order type would be a limit in this case i actually want it to only sell if i can get that 1.4 percent profit the maximum open time to sell is again five minutes and then as far as percentage asked i don't actually have that configured because again i'm really looking to take profit at the 1.4 percent now if we go to sell strategy I do not have that enabled because I am not selling based on a strategy. I'm selling based on a percentage. That's how I actually have back tested this indicator in TradingView is on percentages. Now I do have a stop loss enabled and the stop loss percentage is 0.7%. So my take profit is 1.4%. My stop loss is 0.7%. I essentially have a one to two risk versus reward ratio, which would mean this strategy only has to be right about 33% of the time to be break even. And before we get any deeper into the weeds, I want to make it perfectly clear when you're deploying a strategy like this, it is imperative that you use a stop loss. Not using a stop loss with these type of strategies is like going into battle without armor. Eventually you're going to get killed. And that is why I always have a stop loss set when I'm using Crypto Hopper automated trading bots. For some reason, Crypto Hopper kind of makes it sound like using a stop loss is a bad thing. For example, if I hit save, it's going to say stop loss warning. You have a stop loss activated. This could make your hopper sell positions with a loss. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, definitely. I have a pretty good idea why crypto hopper has that message pop up. They definitely don't want you FNGs selling at a loss and thus thinking crypto hopper automated bots don't work when in reality it's your strategy that doesn't work, not crypto hopper. All right, moving on to trailing stop loss. This will actually be the main operation for this particular bot to sell. It will essentially override my take profit setting. And so I have the trailing stop loss enabled. The trailing stop loss percentage is 0.7% and the arm trailing stop loss at 1.4%. Now, in my opinion, they have these settings flip flopped. You really should have the arm trailing stop loss and then how much you're actually willing to let the price retrace on you. So in this case, I want the take profit to arm once we have hit 1.4% in profit, but I am willing to let the price move against me 0.7% and thus allowing the price to have a slight pullback before perhaps continuing even higher than this 1.4%. And so again, as I mentioned, this will be how I want this bot to take profit. And I have used trailing stop loss only enabled. And I do have reset stop loss after failed orders, just in case for some reason the orders fail. I definitely want that trigger reset to be pulled once my profit targets are hit. Next is the option to auto close. If you were to enable that, you could have it auto close after a certain time frame. I will not be using this again. I'm looking to take profit based on percentage. Short selling is the next option that you could select to set up. However, Crypto's Hopper short selling feature is not true short selling, so I do not use that. And then the last option is dollar cost averaging. Now, if you're trading like this particular bot is trading and your dollar cost averaging, you will eventually end up blowing up your account. This is not how professional traders trade. This is how investors invest, but it is not how traders trade. So now I have all the basic configurations set so I can click on save once again. And yes, I understand I might take some losses. So I click yes. And I guess with that being said, with that warning popping up, if you're not willing to have a few losses, 
then trading is probably not for you. The idea is to have small losses and big wins. That is how you become a profitable trader. So now that I have saved all my basic settings, I need to go and set up the trading view alerts. And so I need to come over here and click on marketplace in the toolbar over here on the left hand side of the screen. That'll give you a drop down of options and I need to select apps, give that a click and that will pull up a variety of different apps. Now I want the trading view app. So I scroll down and give that a click. Now, the first thing you will want to do is add one of these web hooks to your alert in TradingView when you set up an alert in TradingView. So you can click on copy. Then you want to jump over here to the TradingView chart that you actually want to set the alert up on. In this case, I want the alerts to be set based on ETH USDT perpetual contracts over on Bybit on the 15 minute chart. Now, I know I set the Crypto Hopper bot up over on the Qcoin exchange, but everything I've back tested is based on this particular chart. So with that being said, I need to set up an alert by clicking on the alert button up here at the top with the alarm clock. First, I need to select a condition for this alert and that condition will be the recon trend line breach. And then I want it to actually fire off once per bar close. So I give that a click. I want it to be open ended. I do set the pop up to show up on my screen. I also want it to send me an email. And then right here, the web hook URL, that is where you paste that URL over from Crypto Hopper. So you would just right click and click paste. And that will put that in right here. Now you can name your alert and you could do like Crypto Hopper Trading View Strategy if you wanted to. And then lastly, you need to populate the message and you need to get that message generated from Crypto Hopper. So you jump back over here to Crypto Hopper and now you can see alert message example, how you could actually configure it yourself. Or what I do is I generally just come to the alert generator, the hopper name, the coin would be ETH, so ETH. I want it to buy and I want the order type to be market order. So I click on market and then click generate and that will generate the code that I need to copy and paste over here in the message box. And then at that point I can click create and then you can come over here to the right hand side of your screen where there's a little alarm clock and give that a click. And that way you can confirm that your alert was created correctly and you can actually just click on edit and there you will find your configuration of the actual alert and you can see that's all good to go. So I can click save and this alert along with this crypto hopper bot has actually been live for a couple days. So we'll take a look at some of the results early in the testing of this particular strategy. And so now that I'm finished setting up that trading view alert, I can jump over to my recon trend line strategy dashboard, give that a click. And you can see the bot does not have any current open position. So if we scroll down, you can see the hopper is enabled, buying is enabled and selling is enabled. Make sure when you set up your crypto hopper bot that all three of these are enabled if you want to actually have the bot functioning live. And once your bot is enabled and live, you can actually scroll down to the crypto hopper output, which will basically show you all the messages as far as buy orders and sell orders or any errors that might be popping up. If you're seeing any errors here, you might have to go back and correct it. But you can see my bot has completed some buys and sells. So if we scroll back up, you can see the first trade this bot executed was a win for 1.2%. Now, originally when I configured this bot, I actually had my trailing stop numbers upside down. I actually have the arm price set at that 0.7 and I had the trailing stop loss amount at the 1.4%. And so that actually backfired on me. This should have been a bigger win because the price did retrace back on me 1.4% and thus selling based on the stop loss at 1.2% profit. Now the next three trades were small losers 
And then the last trade was almost a 5% winner. And this is where I actually figured out I had those settings flip flopped. And so I actually manually sold in order to lock in profit. Now I do monitor and manually manage my bots. I will manually sell on occasion in order to minimize my risk or lock in profit. That is something I do with all my bots. And so this video is not a how to copy me because you will not actually get the same results as I do because I do manually manage my bots. As you can see that last trade, which was a 5% winner was this signal here. When the price did breach above this trend line, I did get that run up and I actually took profit back up in here somewhere. And then if we jump back over here, this loss of 0.69% would be on this signal here where I got in on the close of the candle and the price actually rolled over on me and I got stopped out. Now there are some things I'm trying to work out or confirm with this actual strategy. And one of those is I don't want multiple reprints, which I can get occasionally when the price closes twice above this trend line, I would actually perhaps get into two positions. And so I have worked on the actual settings for this particular indicator. And in this case, I have an option to show only confirmed breaches. If I uncheck that, you can see this bearish signal just popped up. And so I am constantly working on my indicators to improve their efficiency. So with that all being said, currently the bot is actually in a winning position of just over three and a half percent given the two wins and the three losses. So again, I'm okay having more losses than wins and I'm still profitable. The key is that my wins are bigger than my losses. So I think that's enough jaw jacking for this video. I will do an update video on how this bot is performing. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Crypto Hopper in the description down below. And until next time, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.